Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Radhika and in today's video we will learn about typhoid fever. In this video we will see about the introduction, the causative organism, the symptoms of the infection, mode of transmission of the infection and the test to be done for the infection and treatment to be given for this fever. Finally we will see about the vaccinations and preventions to be taken to stop the spread of the infection. First let us have a small introduction that what actually typhoid fever is. Typhoid fever basically is a bacterial infection occurs because of the causative organism Salmonella typhi. If you come to the symptoms, you basically see high fevers in this infection which can occur from 1 to 2 days of the infection. This infection can be treated, recovery may happen between 7 to 10 days of the infection if given with a good antibiotics and good treatments. So the symptoms are high fever which can occur through the first or second day of the infection and the fever goes up to 1 or 4 degree Fahrenheit or 39 to 40 degree Celsius. You see abdominal pain which is severe and you also see diarrhea that is loss of fluid from your body. You see uh, headaches which are very common in typhoid infection. You notice weakness of the muscles that is fatigue of the muscles and rashes are very common between 6 to 7 weeks of the infection. You see rashes on your neck area, your abdominal area. Coming to mode of transmission, how infection is spread? First, through food, contaminated food or water, the infection, the causative organisms enter into your mouth through food and water which, which are contaminated and then the bacteria leaves from 1 to 3 weeks in your intestinal area from here then it makes the way into your intestinal walls from there it moves into your bloodstream and affect major organs the major organs which are affected in this infection are your liver spleen gallbladder intestine kidneys lungs gallbladder is a very good source for the infection because you have presence of bile in your gallbladder and which is a very good cultural medium for the bellicus. Next, uh, when we come to the test, we have a very good test that is Vidal test used for confirmation of this bacteria. Coming to the treatment of the infection, uh, the basic treatment is uh, prescription of the doctor and in that you can have your include your antibiotics prescribed by your doctor and the basic things which you, you, you can do in your infection is staying hydrated rehydrate your body as much as you can you can include coconut water lemon water and drinking water is very good thing in this infection and coming to the intake of proteins you can have good proteins like you can have curd milk if you are not in lactose intolerance then you can have meat but um, I suggest not to have because in this infection your muscles are becoming weak and it is bad for them to digest those high protein foods you can include all kind of dals in this infection coming to prevention of the infection you can prevent the spread of the infection by not having the contact with the person who is infected this can be spread by the feces of the infected person and the infection is very rare in the animals no animal is a carrier even the person who are asymptomatic also are the carriers of this infection human to human carrier is common in this infection and uh, stop having contaminated food or water and stop having contact with the person who is infected through this infection. Coming to vaccinations of this infection, you see mainly two types of vaccinations. First one is TAB which generally nowadays is not taken because of its major side effects. Coming to the second vaccine which is live oral TY21A vaccine which is taken into consideration and there are three doses of this vaccine the very first dose is taken on the very first day and the second dose is taken on the third day and the third dose is taken on the fifth day first day third day and five fifth day these are the three doses and while having this vaccinations no antibiotics should be included in your treatment thank you so much for watching my video if you feel this is informative please share it with your friends and please do comment like and subscribe to my channel thank you